Yeah, you, you got what it takes. Three, two, one. Hi, my name is Kafui Day, and I am at the 805 restaurant Accra. I'm here to have a chat with Ama Wama, the film director. Ama, hi. Hello, Kafui. How are you? Great, I'm great. Why have you chosen to go into film? Well, I think film for so many reasons. First, I think I'm a storyteller. I, I like to tell stories from different perspectives. When I'm telling them, they never end how I want them to. But with film, we can actually plan it and actually think about what you want and how to affect characters to make it look how you want it to be. I get a sense that you want to be in control, you want to see the end and the beginning yes, and then film plan it. Is, film is all about control. It's, it's, it's like a pilot who says he's not in control of a, of a plane. It'll crash. With film, control is very important because you have to know every single element that you include in your scene and whatever shots that you're doing, it should have a message, the symbols. I, 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 I like to tell my stories with a lot of symbols and I think for me, that's my style. When you don't have control, they tell their own stories. So you can include a glass in a shot and if it's not saying what you wanted to say, it will tell its own story and in the end it won't favor your storyline. What you're trying to say is that all your scenes are carefully composed. There will be a meaning for every things in your scene. scene. Every single scene there's a meaning for it. Did you always want to go into film? I started as, as a, a, a photographer. I, I, I worked in a photo lab. My uncle owned one and I had the privilege of working there. So there I saw a lot of the street photographers, then I did photojournalism. Then later on, there was always a pressing need to do advertising. I, I, I thought I would do, I'll do advertising in school. The money? <laughs> Pay the bills? I think for the creative side, you could go crazy with advertising. To do advertising because of the zeal, of the zeal and the fun side of it. I never thought of money in the beginning but somehow I just got into filmmaking. I think it's all part of the plan. And so then, then you, you, you found the bug and then you go to school, how are you trained? I, at NAPTI I studied cinematography. I knew that I wanted to know what the camera was all about, but there was a need to also be able to control what I put on the screen. And in order to do that, you have to be a director or a writer. So I kept that as a hobby and studied cinematography as a career. So that sometimes too much knowledge will restrict you? Actually, it does. It does. Huh? It does. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your film. Is this mm -hmm. your first film? It's my first fiction, fiction film. Fiction film, The Egg. The Egg. Just focusing a little bit on the title. Mm -hmm. When you say The Egg, are you trying to talk about fragility or life? What meaning behind the title itself? The egg is a seed. It is embryoic, but it's also life. And um, it's, it's deeper than just breakfast, <laughs> yeah, I would say. When egg with regard to the film is, is a symbol, is a tool, and it's also a breakthrough in this film. From the divine to the the, 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 the the ordinary, is it expensive to shoot a movie? It can be very expensive to shoot a movie. But coming from the Mokola background, I am a realist. When you see the Mokola background, what are you talking about? Well, when I'm not shooting film, I'm either selling something to you or trying a new idea. How do you fund the movie? Personally, I put, I put my money into it. Also, I contacted friends. I, I would call someone and say, okay, this is the project that I have to do. You can put in money for me. Was it easy for you to sell the vision? Most of the time, I, I just let them to read it. First of all, I'll give you a script and let you read it. And when you come back and you are very excited about it, I'm like, is this something you fund? And I had funding from 50 Ghana CDs to 
a thousand Ghana CDs. Adenkra Studios also helps with the funds, the funds, that's the company that I belong to. But this is an Amabama film and they funded it. And um, family members, friends, tip in here and there. And my actors actually did it for nothing. My cinematographer, I just pitched it to him. I was like, I'm as you. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. The minute I spoke to him, to him he was on set. And that's how much I'm talking. That's how far God has brought me. I'm telling you, there's been provision, even food. Everything was provided for. Immediately I pitched it. You find one person who is like, I could do this, I could do that. <laughs> well, maybe, but I think that it's not always that you get to talk a lot. How long did it take you to shoot the movie? Okay, shooting the film, I, it took three days to shoot the film. Is it possible that if you had given the rushes to somebody else, they would have edited a completely different movie? Well, I would work hand in hand with that person, so it's likely that it would have turned out this way. Can you remember the precise day when you felt, okay, that's it, it's done? Or do you get the feeling that, oh, I could still have edited it in a different way? For me, with the editing, I, I believe in killing your darlings. There were so many shots that were absolutely beautiful, but I had to shoot all of them one by one. I couldn't use all of them. So definitely I knew, on paper, I write in such a way that editing is not that much of a challenge. I actually write seeing exactly what I want. So when I'm editing, I don't even go around looking for shots that will be nice or no. I know exactly what I want. I just pick it, drop it and put it down. I just go in for what I want and I put it down. Then the other shots that I like, I cut it into a trailer, a trailer or something. I always know what I want and I go in for it. So the movie's done, well, what's the next step for The Egg, Amma? The Egg is going to the cinemas and my, my, it is going into my kind of cinema. And you said it's a short, so how many minutes are we it's talking about here? Minutes. It's a 20 minute movie. It's a 20 minute right. movie. And I, I figured out that since it's a new movie and it's, it's, it's not the usual film that goes into cinemas, there's a need to have a special strategy on how to release it. So I'm going underground. I'm going to places like bars, pubs, where I can create my own cinemas and allow people to watch it for free. It's not going at any cost. But I'll enter into film festivals, competitions, and see how much money I'm going to earn with it. So that's how I intend to circulate it and put it online for people to watch freely. Just like with other artists, film directors also have their unique style. I'm sure if I I put in a Spike Lee movie with the, with the sound off or a Shelley from Pomas movie with the sound off, I'd be, I'll be able to you'll be able to say, oh, this is a Shelley movie or this is a Spike Lee movie. What would be the signature of Amabuama? The look. I'm very keen on the look. I I like it to look very desaturated. When I'm seeing something, it, there's a way I see it that I want my films to look exactly like that. I want to move in, move out of it, a, a lot of colors out of it, and make it look a little grayish like film. Basically, that's like on the face how my films will look. Is that a documentary feel that yeah, you wanted to give? Yeah, that's a documentary feel that I'm talking about. I like to have jerks in my film. Future for Ama Buama, the movie director. Ama Buama. Well, God knows best to begin with, but I think that I want to do a lot of films because I figured that one thing about our society is that we don't realize how powerful film is. But some people have limited it to love and witchcraft and sorcery only. Frankly speaking, I'm tired of this kind of <laughs> want something else. So, yeah. You know, I, I think I want to make films that tell people about who they are, empower young people to move out and search for that passion out there, to move out and not be scared about who would say, 
you don't look like a filmmaker, you can't shoot films. Kapu, seriously, I've had people look at me and tell me that you don't look like a filmmaker. What, what? filmmaker stuff like? I, I, I'm still searching for that filmmaker look. <laughs> Somehow, we just need God to tell us that, look, don't listen to that comment. You have to do this. I've come a long way in that realm to realize that I can't make it on my own. I'm here for a particular purpose. I'm here to feed a particular pe uh, market. And until I make those films, those markets are going to go wayward. Those markets, that particular target audience are going to do whatever they like and not know that they are really important in this life. It, for me, it's, it's more important for me to know that every human being has a purpose, has a role to play. Otherwise, you shouldn't even come to this earth at all. Okay, so I've seen the poster for the egg. And there's a reference to black on black. What exactly is that? People in Ghana look at you and judge you. They, maybe it's not only in Ghana, but I think that, yeah, it's not only in Ghana. <laughs> but I feel that there are a lot of things that people can offer to this country, but because of the way they look, you, you ain't going anywhere, Kapi. You are not going anywhere. And of course, I've heard of black on black oh. in the African-American oh, yeah. system where uh, black people attack other black other people. Blacks. And on a, on a different level, that's Less. happening in Ghana as well, yeah. where we are not getting mm. uh, that kind of cooperation, yeah. even though we are the same people. people. Okay. Even if you go to certain restaurants, they won't serve you, especially restaurants that expats are noted to go. You look black, the waiters are rude to you because you don't look white and you don't tip. That's black on black. Right. There are so many situations of black on black. And the, the, the thing about this situation is that you, you as a person never know where it's coming from. It's always a shock because you've not said a word and someone is rude to you. Even in Mokola, where, where I, 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 I roll. <laughs> Listen, I really enjoyed this conversation. I look forward to watching more of your films. Thank you very much.